Hey everyone, Susan Winter. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I truly, truly love all of you subscribers. Click the little notification button to make sure that you get the next episode here. And today I'm answering more of your questions. This one is about everything's fine, you think. Six months, goodbye, it's looking good, then boom, gone, out of nowhere. Hmm? This will make sense to many of you. And this is from Josh. And Josh writes, I was with a woman for six months. We met family and made plans for trips and holidays. We both hinted we were falling in love. Suddenly, she said I wasn't her one and that she was seeing another man in a few weeks. I tried to reach out and got a cold two-sentence answer. I think she may be avoidant. What happened? Does she miss me? Will I ever hear from her again? I, I hope you don't. <laughs> there's no way I could, there's no way. You know, I read these, I read your video requests. And I'm like, oh my God. I think I might have returned an email to you. This stuff makes me crazy. Somebody goes loping down the path, holding your hand, taking you to rainbows and butterflies and beautiful dreams of the future. And then boom. Yeah, I don't think that you're the one. I'm going to be seeing somebody else. Now, I don't know whether that was a typo that she is going to be seeing somebody else or she has been seeing somebody else. Is she avoidant? No, she's not interested. She just had a whim to visit you and be with you for a while, and then the spell left her. And this is the thing for those of you that have consistent feelings of love and warmth, those of you who are emotionally available, those of you who want to create a relationship where loving and attaching is easy for you, you will not understand these people. Is she avoidant? I don't know, maybe. She's not somebody you should be with. Is she thinking about you? Hell no. Is she going to call you back? Maybe. You hope not. She might call you back when she's had another six months with this guy and finds out that yeah, she's not feeling it for him either. But normally they move on to somebody else. This personality type, this disposition, is somebody that does not know what they want in dating. And they are just kind of rummaging through partners and experiencing one high after the next and then just bailing from the ride when they don't feel like being involved anymore. And that's unfortunate for you. But that is oftentimes what we are facing. So when you see these things, rather than clinging to the beginning of the moments, because that's what I call the snapshot. Those are the things that freeze us in place. That's the reason we can't move on because, you know, she was lulling you into this dream state where she was and you felt that. And this, unfortunately, is where you are remaining, where so many of us remain. And, it, and it's logical because the mind says, well, I was there once. We had it once. There's got to be a way to get it back. If we had it once, we've got to have it again. No, it was a one-time thing as they cruised through your life <laughs> kind of like a tornado and took everything in their path. And you don't want this kind of person back. You really don't. You want back that first yummy moment when it felt so beautiful. But this is what you're dealing with. So when we begin to assess who a person was to us, therefore, how we equate their worth and how much we're staying emotionally invested, meaning hoping, we have to look at it from the frame of how much was the really potent, beautiful, wonderful, true, lush, consistent time. And then how much was nothing but rocky terrain. And this is just a two sentence answer. I mean, you met each other's parents. Like, what is that? Now, part of this is pace. Maybe she was rushing too soon and you got excited and you went along. And I know it's hard. It's hard to control pace. I've done a number of videos on pace. 
you can meet somebody that love bombs you and you're like, okay, I think you're love bombing. This happened to a friend of mine. She's very smart. That relationship ended in six weeks. Poof. She kept saying, slow down, slow down. You're talking about children. You're talking about marriage. You know, we're only two weeks into this. The guy wanted to move in. Then just as easily, he fell out of infatuation and, you know, just said, this isn't working for me. <laughs> it's, I don't know how people do this. And if you're healthy, you don't either. What we need to understand is that many people that are dating out there have no idea what they're doing. They have no idea what they want. They have no idea what they feel. They're just kind of bumping around. What is it? Those go-karts that bump into each other in the, in the fair? That's all they're doing. Bumping into one person, another person. Maybe they have a nice time for a minute and then they just evacuate. And again, I just, I did a recording of a video before this about filter, 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 filter. I know you did the best you could, but please let go and please pray that she doesn't contact you again because you know you can't trust her behavior. You don't go from hot, hot, hot to cold. If you see that in somebody, don't give them an allowance for it. Oh, like, well, yeah, but they're, you know, they struggle with issues. No, they didn't treat you properly. There's no excuse for that, especially since you've had time together and you've established a relationship. I hope this helps you. Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net. If you have a video request for me, go to SusanWinter.net. Go to the contact page. The very bottom underneath my agent is the video request. Just submit it there. For those of you that want to work with me, get over this a little bit quicker. Happy to work with you. Go to the consultation page. Thank you, everyone. Take care.